in the future, we will do home visits, we will do hospital visits, and we will come to events that you request us at. We don't charge anything for that. The only thing we request is that we're able to sell our merchandise, because that's how we pay for our gas and our insurance and upkeep on the truck. So, let's see. I will now announce Ann Wilsman. She is our treasurer and um, the coordinator of our direct care assistance program. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for coming out today. Just a little bit to tell you about our direct care assistance program for those that don't know about it. We help men, women, and children currently battling any type of cancer. Um, we make up to $500 a year currently. We help pay medical bills. We help make a house payment. We will do electrical bills. Um, all of our things are paid directly to the companies that those people owe money to. Um, we also can do like a food drive if someone really needs food or that type of thing to help them out. Um, we will also help people that um, want to do an event for someone that has cancer. We would help them coordinate it and we would be there for them to support them. Um, so far this year we have helped 21 men and women. We have not had any children yet, but men and women with um, a variety of cancers from breast to gallbladder to um, prostate cancer. So we help in a big variety of ways and in a big variety of cancers. It's not just breast cancer. I would like to take a minute now to introduce Mr. Greg Buckley, um, the city manager here in Two Rivers, and he will have a few words for you. Mr. Buckley. Thank you, Ann. Uh, congratulations, first of all, to Pink Hills, Manitowoc County on your selection of a weather day. My goodness. After all we've been through, this is pretty uplifting in itself. Congratulations also to the chapter on uh, rolling out your pink fire truck to assist with publicity and fundraising and your mission of support for families battling cancer. Uh, it's wonderful to see an organization in place nationwide and here in our own community here in Manitowoc County that recognizes the importance of support to families. Because not to minimize how tough it is on the individual family member that has cancer, uh, that illness really does thrust entire families uh, into the mix. Whether it's time lost from jobs during treatment, just the overall pressure on family, uh, getting kids to school and maintaining a semblance of a normal lifestyle. So to the extent you reach out and embrace not just the folks undergoing cancer treatment, recovering from cancer treatment, but the families, the, the fabric of our community, the fabric of those households, that's just so very, very important. So we uh, appreciate the folks from the community that are here. I understand you have some special guests from other chapters, and we wish you the very best as you roll out Manitowoc County's pink fire truck. Thank you, Ann. We, we now have a presentation to make, and we would like Nikki Funk to come up, please. And I would like to ask Mariah to come up, please. When we decided to name our truck Colton, Colton's mom always called him her Colton Bear. I asked this young lady if she could draw me a picture of a bear with a fire helmet on, holding an air tank. I asked her after school one day. She had it on my desk the next morning. We sent it to Erickson. First, we sent it to Arizona, Arizona and had it approved by the founder of Pink Hills. He, then we also took it to Erickson, and within two weeks, they had our shirts painted, or finished. <laughs> so we would like to present Mariah, and for the first time for all of you, our Colton Bear shirt. Thank you, Mariah. And this is also a t-shirt, a sketchbook, and some sketching pencils. Keep up the good work. Did an awesome job. Okay. Oh, that shirt will also be available from any of our chapters throughout the United States, Canada, and England. Tara. Now I would like to call Tara. 
This is Colton's mother. <laughs> Hi guys, it's, um, thank you so much for coming today to honor Colton. Um, this is a great privilege that I've got to know these wonderful people a lot um, over the last two years. So, a little bit about Colton. Um, first, I used to work with Missy, the president um, at Aurora. We used to be partners in crime. Um, and then my family decided to move out to Colorado for my husband's job. So in 2011, we decided to move to Colorado, and we knew no one when we moved out to Colorado. Two weeks after we had been out to Colorado, our sons, both of them, got sick with the flu. Colton never got better, so we brought him into the emergency room, and that's when we found out that he had cancer. Um, so for the next 11 months, he battled on and on with numerous surgeries, chemotherapy, stem cell transplants, and we solely went from two incomes to one. So we relied on organizations like Pink Heels and the other organizations throughout the United States that provide financial assistance for our family. Without these organizations, we would not be the family that we are today. They helped us stick together and battle on for Colton. He then was in remission for three months and relapsed shortly after. With neuroblastoma, we know that relapse is not a very good outcome. So he battled on and we tried experimental transplants and more chemo, and um, in July of last year, we found out that he was not doing very well. So he created a bucket list, and things on his bucket list were riding fire trucks, flying in planes, water balloon fights, and also giving out flowers to strangers. That was his favorite thing because he was such a caring soul for a four-year-old that he just wanted to make everybody in the world smile. So that's Colton's story. He passed away on September 3rd of 2013 this year, and he was an amazing fighter. And we live on through Pink Heels and through Colton's Care Foundation for other children in Wisconsin that have a family battling. So without you guys out there helping Pink Heels and other foundations across the United States, it wouldn't be possible for our family to be where we are today. So I thank you all for supporting us, and I appreciate you for coming out to honor Colton. things before we get started and bring the truck out. I just want to do a few thank yous because there's a lot of people that donated a lot of time and, and um, stuff to our truck. Um, Melissa and Kevin who own Calibre Coating here were wonderful. Um, they let us keep our truck here. Jim Sand and all the guys that worked here helped paint it. Um, my dad, Charlie, who you'll see in a little while, he's not out here. <laughs> he spent pretty much every day down here. I think they're going to hire him when we're done here. <laughs> um, and we had many members of Pink Heels, family members, people that we made donations to, um, EMTs and firefighters from throughout the county that worked on this truck. So it really is a group effort. Um, I hope I'm not going to kill some of these names here. There's a special item that was donated by K&M Machining. Kevin made it for us, and you'll see it on the front when it comes out. Um, a graphic company, Tim Nelson, who is Colton's godfather. Um, a round of applause. That was a big deal, wasn't it, Tim? <laughs> Kristen Michael, OEC Graphics, and Jen F. Brand Design donated the graphics for the truck. I hope I didn't murder that too bad. Did I do good? Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, the gentleman who put the graphics on the truck is from Crystal Signs. Rick Crystal did a wonderful job. Had him on in a little over an hour. Um, Fatsil Subs and Embers helped us out with food along the way. Uh, Mike Henson from Henson um, helped with the paint. He donated all the paint, the clear coat, all that wonderful stuff. The ladders were donated by Duo Safety. And let's see, Mishkot Fire Department, Two Rivers Fire Department for coming out today and putting up the flag with the ladder trucks. The Ant Hill Mob who are here with their bikes. And we had a special 
guest come just right before this started. Our chapter from Wichita is here. <laughs> they didn't bring the truck, but Nikki and Richard Janey are here, so they're here to help. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, and I see the Spearings are here from Rock Cancer. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome. So, I think to get started here, um, if you have any questions throughout the day, there are many of us in tie-dye t-shirts around here. We are able to help you with anything you need, so come find one of us. Next, we would like Colton's family to um, come forward and probably maybe stand on the other side of the bikes here. Okay? We're going to bring the truck out. So the fire truck is going to come out and it's kind of going to go towards the um, outhouses here and then back up underneath the truck. So we'll have to just park as it's coming out. So. Ready for the, well they can kind of stay up here mom to start so we can get pictures as it's coming out and then kind of move as they come out. Um, Colton's family will sign the truck first when it comes out and then we will have some of the people who are here who we made donations to, they will sign second and then everybody else can sign. So we're going to get going. We are going to put the flag up on the top of the um, fire truck and then we're going to have the national anthem played. So if everybody would like to remove their hats. And that would be Bruce and Jeff Steinhorst. That would be Colton standing up helping with the flag. So proudly we 
Surprise that came out in the truck for Tara. Um, Sam is here from our Alabama chapter, and him and Colton played while National was here on the tour bus for quite a while. So he had to make a surprise visit out for Tara and her family. <laughs> we do have a professional photographer here today, also. Paula Shuffle has donated her services. So if anybody wants pictures in front of the truck, let us know. We'll find her for you. And if um, Colton's family, Tara, your family want to step forward, well, you're not the actual first signature on the truck. You have to come over on this side of the truck and check it out. I'm coming.
Does anybody else from the family want to say Anybody else from the family want to come up to one of the guardians and have them show you? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.